Hello and welcome back to Zondercost. Uh, life is pretty quiet here at the moment. So I'm working on these uh, monuments. Uh, it should be a Gabro block uh, right next to it. So yeah, I mean, like we're making fairly decent progress on these apartments. Uh, in fact, that roof there on that side is fully built. So let's get some beds in there. That'd be nice. Bedrooms and beds. How oh, novel. Alright, bed. You. Ah, oh, there's no chest in that room. Bed. And these chests are all covered in snow. I'm sure some of them are wood, but. Uh, oh no, I've run out of cabinets as well. I think I told them to make more though. Uh, okay, cabinets. Oh, yes, I do have some. So there's one in there. Oh, I've got shitloads of them. Okay. Uh, that's what you get for putting them on repeat, I guess. Um, I need a container for this room. Uh, Jesus Christ, I've got so many bags. Pine chest, there you go. Whoops. Um, so yeah, I really want to get these monuments done. They stood sort of, like, not even half built for a very long time. But, uh, oh god. A ghostly axe lord has risen and is haunting the fortress. Whereabouts are you? Alright, you are hanging around the, the stone stockpile. So, are you doing anything particularly strange, like, you know, killing people with your ghostly axe? No? Oh, okay. Well, that's fine then. Alright, so we shall engrave memorial slab for Erdem Adulugal, who was an axe lord, apparently, but. Uh, never actually gained a, a legendary name, so... Can't have been that good. Just saying. Right, how are you doing up here? Right, you're building that wall, that's nice. Uh, those stairs exist on this level, do they not? Yes, they do. Um, right, i got to think about this, I guess. Right, let's start with the top one. So yeah, that's like the bottom of the pommel. Um... So now we just want it to sort of come up for a little while before it goes out at the sides. <laughs> it just looks really weird at the moment. Like, these bits out here don't really need to be there. And yeah, they don't it, they don't look particularly great in stone sense, actually. But, oh well. Oh well. It'll look better in my imagination, so that works. Right. So I'm thinking, um, hold on, um, construction present, what construction? Um, no, that's just the top of the wall, surely. Construction present in the middle there? Oh, is there a floor there? I see. <laughs> uh, I don't know what I've built because it's all covered in snow, but, um, yeah, I guess we'll just do it like this, and it might look horrible. Whoops. Um, there. 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 Yeah, like if I make it go up like that, it's not going to look great, I don't think. But... <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it looks. Because, I mean, yeah, that makes, like, little diagonal gaps in it. And I want it to kind of look all fluffy and cloud-like, like that. But, yeah, I mean, we're going to have to go up like that for, like, a bajillion levels, so... Might as well start building these up downstairs as well. Um, not out of ice. Gabbro blocks. There we go. It's got to be magma safe for the magma forged steel blocks to sit on top of. Would be nice. Um, yeah, I think I told somebody to make uh, charcoal. Yeah, that's been that's been happening on repeat. So how much of that have we got? Five! Wow! Okay. Um, equipment mismatch. Oh dear. Uh, let's um, smelt these adamantine wafers, because I've been digging quite a bit of this. Uh, yeah, I've just been off-screening a bunch of stuff, because nothing's happening. <laughs> it's actually kind of uh, boring. Now, I think, yeah, there's some magma behind here somewhere. 
Because, yeah, there's lots of magma on this level. So I've got to be careful about what I dig here. Um, nom the shiny blue stones, not the boring grey ones. Nom 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 nom. Oop, there's some warm stone. Is it warm, Adamantine? Oh, I want it. Right, oh, stop zooming my camera around, you son of a bitch. Uh, any more that I could get? There's some designated to be dug there, but... Ah, it's auto-saving. Alright, back in a sec. Spring has arrived, yay! Here come the elves! Well, they're not here yet, but they will arrive at some point. I may even start killing them again. I don't know. It, it might make something interesting happening. I have so many, so many military. That's not a very good sentence. But I have so many military now that uh, <laughs> this changing of the guard that happens every month is just uh, getting a little bit ridiculous. But oh, look at them using the wheelbarrows. It's always a nice sight when they use the wheelbarrows. They're apparently using it to bring all these logs in. Because I've been uh, burning the logs to make charcoal, but... oh, a cat was found dead. Why? <laughs> Why is there a dead cat? Or maybe it died of old age? I don't even know. I suppose it could have got killed by a trap. Maybe it fell asleep or something. But yeah, <laughs> it's just a chicken down here now. Oh, running out of things... But yeah, I want to see if I can make steel now, because I've been making charcoal, right. Or pig iron, at least. No. Now this is just bizarre, because I know that I have iron bars. We may have run out of... Okay, I think we've actually run out of flux stones this time. Ah, if it doesn't rain, it pours. Right, let's take some of this crap. Nom! There we go. And my miners will get around to that eventually. I think they're all kind of busy down here. Uh, can I get that bit up there? Possibly. Nom. Right, okay, there's probably some more down there, but I think it's getting a little bit silly now. <laughs> Do I want to release hell again? Because it will happen. Uh, probably not. Maybe. Where are you taking that dog? Oh yeah! Uh, at some point I pastured all of the war dogs, including the ones that were stuck on these chains. Uh, yeah, this is the problem with that though, because I've assigned dogs to these chains again, but they're also still assigned to the pastures. So, this guy's just going to be ferrying them between the pasture and the chains for all eternity. Like some sort of horrible dwarven Sisyphus. Um, <laughs> Uh, and they're just a ge generic stray war dogs, so I don't really know which ones to take out of the pasture, I guess. Um, pasture info. Oh, hello. There we go. The ones with the little chain symbol next to them. It's that simple. Sometimes Dwarf's Fortress is simple. Oh, an owl's been missing for a week. Was it in that? Uh, was that in one of these cages? I guess it must have been. Um, I need to look empty. Elder cage. No. No, not in there. Uh, some of these are hooked up to mechanisms, and there's absolutely nothing in them, which is a bit strange. But uh, did I miss one? I don't know. Did somebody have a pet owl that I didn't know about? I mean, it might be squished into a cage with somebody, so I have no idea where it is. There's a goblin in that one. No, no idea where that owl is. I guess I could look in the stock screen. It's kind of cheating, really, because <laughs> it's just... Oh yeah, there it is. Um, partial skeletons. Stray Horned Owl Corpse. Ah, there we go, it's in that one. Ah, alright, okay. Get it out of there before it stinks up the zoo. Alright. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm baffled by the fact that I can't make pig iron or steel. Because there's a charcoal on a 
stockpile. Uh, have we got... Have they dug any of that shit out? Aha! Yes. They have dug some uh, stuff. Actually, no. We might as well put the steel on another one. Uh, you're not doing anything. Steel. Repeat. Um, smelt hematite. I haven't even dug hematite for like 10 years. <laughs> Seriously. Where are you getting all this from? 431 iron bars? You've got to be kidding me. They're just... well, there's all this here, I guess. Jesus Christ, okay. Fair enough, we're gonna have an ungodly amount of iron that is probably just gonna get turned into steel and then never even used for anything. <laughs> God damn it. Ah, right. So yeah, how are you doing up here, anyway? Yeah, see, that doesn't look great. I mean, from the side, if you were standing next to it, it might look okay-ish, but, um, I don't know. Let's build more stairs. There we go. Got a row box. I'll just carry it on up, though. It'll look, um, alright, yeah. We need a floor first. Uh, and that's blocked, because we haven't got the stairs yet. God damn it. I wish I could just build a column of stairs all the way up, that would be really nice, but, um, alas, I cannot. There's probably some DF hack thing that lets you do that. I would imagine there is. But yeah, I think I'm going to pause the recording and continue on with the building, and, yeah, let's just skip ahead to when I've made some more progress on it. Ah, oh, some migrants have arrived. Ah, oh, migrants. No, what are you? Competent hammer dwarf, adequate cheese maker. I don't think I want some adequate cheese. Uh, right, okay. You're actually the daughter of Tun Postrus the Skinny Sicknesses. Wow. Okay. Uh, I, they're dead, you know. <laughs> Welcome to the fort where your parents died. <laughs> That's really weird. Okay, um... Okay. Yeah, you don't look too suspicious, but you are a farmer. But that in itself is suspicious, but, um... Let's just give you masonry. I can't even be bothered right now, taking all these stupid farm labors off. It's not important, so yeah, you need to do something. Build! Alright. What about you? Uh... What is your name? Rigith Berry Metals. Okay. Uh, so I'm looking at the, the relations now, because, yeah, that's weird. Having somebody turn up who was related to a former legendary person here. But yeah, you don't look too dangerous looking. You are already a mason. Well, you came to the right place. Uh, you're an... Right, if you have hunting, I'll turn that off. Because, yeah, we don't, we don't want you wasting our bolts. He's just dropped his crossbow over there. So what are you actually good at? Animal training, that sort of thing. Be a mason. All right, anybody else? No, oh, no, oh, there's one more. Uh, two more. Jesus Christ. Uh, beekeeper. No. What about you? You're a furnace operator. Well, that's generally pretty useful. And a competent tracker as well, that's... Um, nope, you're not a fucking hunter, okay. There we go, no fish, and a, a random blob. What is the random blob? It's a chick, Ah, oh. It's somebody's pet as well, so I can't kill it. Uh, slaughter the water buffalo calf. Oh, for Christ's sake, they keep coming. Right, <laughs> what are you? Mark's dwarf, please do not hunt. Um, yeah, just be a mason and shut up. Right, what about you? A farmer? Why? Why do you come here? This is ridiculous. <laughs> Surely word has gotten back to the mountain homes uh, at some point about what kind of a place this is. Oh, someone's attached to a sword. You should uh, put it down once in a while, maybe wash your hands. Ho, ho, ho. But, uh, no. 
So how many citizens is that now? 113. It's a little bit more than I hoped for, honestly. But I don't know. I mean, if we get a few more, like we get up to about 120, uh, we might actually become the mountain home. And yeah, that would be kind of the end game for this force, I think. I mean, we've done a lot here. It definitely feels like I'm winding this place down. Because, I don't know, we've thrown a lot of shit at this fort. <laughs> like, ambush after ambush, uh, demon... Oh, a fey mood. Oh, okay. While he was making coffins. Interesting. But, yeah, um... We've thrown a lot of stuff at it, and it's just bounced right back. And it's thriving, despite being on a glacier. So yeah, I think maybe I'll turn the population cap up soon. What is this? Um, a thing. There's a gobold uh, next to a bone carver. Alright, you've grown to become a blue peacock. What were you before? <laughs> Oh god, he's found another one. There's kobolds everywhere. Uh, run away. Yes, run. No. Okay, that one's getting shot. Um, so yeah, I think maybe turning up the population cap. Uh, what time of year is it? It's spring. So I would have to wait until autumn to uh, donate a bunch of stuff to the caravan so that we can become a mountain home. I think that might just be the end for the fort. I will probably retire it. It's kind of possible to retire a fort uh, using DF hack rather than abandoning it. Abandoning it. Because um, yeah, I would kind of like to come here as an adventurer because I mean, like we have a cavern layer here which God damn it, you <laughs> zooming me around. Uh, yeah, where is the white cavern layer? Yeah, this one. Uh, I can get down here by pulling the lever. And there's a fuckload of forgotten beasts in here. I mean, seriously. There's so many. So, I mean, I guess that's a long-term goal for the fort. Probably got a while to go yet. I want to at least get these finished. Um... Speaking of which, we've gone up pretty high with these, but we've got a few more left to go. Uh, let's get some more stairs. I'm not sure how many levels I need for this. Because like I said, it doesn't particularly look right in stone sense. It doesn't look anything like uh, what I expected it to. But never mind. So this guy's making shit. What are you making? Uh, coffins. <laughs> Ah, uh, right, so you, oh, three raw adamantine. One wasn't enough, was it? You, uh, iron bars, some leather, eh, yeah, just general stuff. Okay, right, you're still extracting strands. I can probably get back to smelting them now. Alright, let's have a look. Adamantine, repeat. Um, right, so I ran out of flux as well at some point. Uh, I'll let him make the pig iron first. Um, just make a shitload of it. I guess we'll go down and dig some more flux stone. Right, so you're still digging through this, are you? I might as well go down to... Uh, I was going to say the next level, but I've already quarried quite a bit. But yeah, the closer it is to the stairs, the easier it will be for them to go stockpile it, so... Quarry that as well. Alright. So, I'm going to pause the recording, see what he comes up with, do some more work on this. <laughs> that's, uh, that's kind of nice. That's, um, yeah, Balad Katan Thazor Axith. It's almost pronounceable. A raw adamantine armor stand for your adamantine armor. If only they actually did that with the armor. Uh, what's it called? Coil Channel, the Discovery of Aches. Mm. Oh god, it's worth 1.2 million dwarf bucks. And there's absolutely nothing interesting on it. No images, just cabochons, spikes, and bands and stuff. Uh, okay, thank you. Thank you for your creation. 
It will take pride of praise, pride of praise, pride of praise in here for absolutely no reason. There you go. Your wonderful creation is in the statue garden for all to see. <laughs> so they can laugh at how ridiculously useless it is. Did he just go and build it himself? Like, yep, that's my thing. Um, right. I don't even know why we're making this many coffins, but... <coughs> oh, excuse me. So I have a bit of a cough today. Alright, so that didn't take him long to make that shit, honestly. Uh, you're not stuck up there, are you? Nope. Okay. Alright, so that's still getting built. Um... Yeah, so I think how many layers is that where I've just gone straight up there? Uh, that doesn't look right at all. Have I missed out a layer there? Shouldn't there be walls? Um, <laughs> yeah, there should be walls on this layer. And there are not. Oops. Um, right, there should be a floor around those stairs as well. I don't know. Terrible at building things, aren't I? <laughs> uh, all right, there we go. Let's fix that. I just managed to skip a layer somehow, but yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, okay. I think I will start uh, building this outwards. And again, I think I'm going to do this off camera because it gets a bit tedious. Whoops. Derp. Derp. So yeah, what we can see there are dwarves carrying steel blocks up to the top of this. Or what's the top at the moment, anyway. So yeah, we got the handle of the sword coming up, and then it goes out for a couple of levels, and I got a bit bored. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the steel blocks are extremely underwhelming. They do not look very shiny at all. So yeah, these are the steel blocks being built here. Um, yeah, just slightly in from the handle, and I'll get, I'll carry those up for as long as I can be bothered. But uh, I think I'll wrap this episode up here, so we're actually making good progress on this monument. And hopefully it looks better in stone sense, I'll try and show that next time, if I get that one finished, which I may very well do. Uh, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>